Welcome to my channel. My name is Jolie, and today in um, this series, we're learning A Course in Miracles. Uh, we're starting the review period. Uh, this will be Lesson 52 on page 83 and 84. Um, for the review periods, um, just devote two minutes or more to each practice period, thinking about the idea and related comments after reading them over. So do this as often as possible during the day. So I'm going to be going over lessons, uh, uh, reviewing lessons six through 10, and, um, and then there'll be a comment after each one. So here I go. Uh, number six, I am upset because I see what is not there. Comments. Reality is never frightening. It is impossible that it could upset me. Reality brings only perfect peace. When I'm upset, it is always because I have replaced reality with illusions I made up. The illusions are upsetting because I have given them reality and thus regard reality as an illusion. Nothing in God's creation is affected in any way that is confusion of mine. And I am always upset by nothing. And seven, quote, I see only the past. Explanation. Um, as I look about, I condemn the world I look upon. I call this seeing. I hold the past against everyone and everything, making them my enemies. When I have forgiven myself and remembered who I am, I will bless everyone and everything I see. There will be no past and therefore no enemies. And I will look with love on all that I have failed to see before. Eight, quote, my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. Review, I see only my own thoughts and my mind is preoccupied with the past. What then can I see as it is? Let me remember that I look on the past to prevent the present from dawning on my mind. Let me understand that I'm trying to use time against God. Let me learn to give the past away, realizing that in so doing, I'm giving up nothing. Nine. Lesson, I see nothing as it is now. Explanation, uh, I, if I see nothing as it is now, I can truly be, it can truly be said that I see nothing. I can see only what is now. The choice is not whether to see the past or the present. The choice is merely whether to see or not. What I have chosen to see has cost me vision. Now I would choose again that I may see. And number 10, quote, my thoughts do not mean anything. Explanation. So I, I have no private thoughts, yet it is only private thoughts of which I am aware. What can these thoughts mean? They do not exist, and so they mean nothing. Yet my mind is part of a creation and part of its creator. What would I not rather join the thinking of the universe than to obscure all that is really mine with my pitiful and meaningless private thoughts? So there you go. I would um, just uh, could take it or leave it, but I would advise that you would maybe repeat this video as many times as possible that you need, right? So that you can review these lessons. Uh, so we can begin um, this series of review periods. This will go for a few more lessons and um, just so that we can um, understand in a different way so that we can work on our perceptions to change uh, uh, how we see the world and, um, and there we go. Thank you. And um, please give it a like so that it reaches out to other people. Share this content and subscribe. Have a good day.